And remembering former First Lady Norma Matheson tonight, regarded as a political pioneer, the wife of former Governor Scott Matheson passed away Sunday night at the age of 89. ABC4's Brittany Johnson spoke with Norma's friend and another of Utah's First Lady. She joins us live from the Capitol with the story. Brittany. That's right, Emily. I spoke with former First Lady Jacqueline Levitt. She says Norma Matheson will be remembered for her public service, civility, and always want to fight for women's rights, but most importantly, being a great mother, wife, and true friend. Former First Lady Norma Matheson, described as an extraordinary public servant with sharp political insight, the matriarch of a prominent Utah Democratic family, lost her life Sunday after battling leukemia. The tributes from Utah lawmakers and political organizations pouring in. Wherever she was, she bloomed. For former First Lady Jacqueline Levitt, the death of her friend comes as a shock. It hadn't been too long ago since I had seen Norma and she was strong and vivacious and we had a wonderful conversation. Levitt says their friendship started right around the time her husband, Mike Levitt, took office as governor. Right as I came into office, she was very warm and uh, personable. What Levitt says she'll remember most about Matheson, political insight she passed along to her family and friends. She could do it in a very friendly but direct way. She was a stalwart Utah, there's no doubt about it. The way she championed for women's advancement. She told me one time that she made it very clear that she would not go to the political tees and pour the punch. And most importantly, the love she had for her family. And if you would ask her family, they would, they all adore her. She was a wonderful mother as well. Now, Norma Matheson focused her work on aging issues, education and health care, and took great pride in helping restore and preserve the governor's mansion. Most recently, she helped launch Count My Vote, which changed Utah's primary process. Her funeral arrangements are pending. For now, reporting live from the Utah State Capitol tonight, I'm Brittany Johnson, ABC4 News. Thank you, Brittany. A legacy to be remembered indeed. We'll be right back.